Welcome back guys, Gun and Fan, and today we're looking at this guy. What was that? I am a Alright, not much to say really, uh, apart from it's one of the new kits that's come out of China, I don't know anything about it. It's one of those purchases where I saw the promos, so I was like, that looks cool as fuck, I want it. That's it. Um, so <laughs> I have got no idea. All I know is it's very similar to the ruling, uh, which came out a couple of years ago. Uh, metal frame, action stand, loads of weapons and bits and pieces, and the, the mecha itself. That's it. Now, um, you know, they are all sort of becoming a little bit generic um, in their looks and their style, uh, and that's fine. I'm, you know, uh, don't doesn't really bother me that much. Uh, but there will come a point where there'll be misogynist, um, not misogynist, wrong word, sorry. Um, what's the word? Oh, God. Monogynous? Monogynous? Homogynous. Homogynous? Is that the word I want? I want that word, I don't know. Homogenous? Yeah. Yeah, we'll go with that. Okay. Um, so there is going to be a point where they're all going to sort of like end up looking the same. So that will hopefully push the envelope to make uh, mechas a little bit more interesting. Uh, but for now, we're in that space where loads of stuff is just rolling out of China. Um, some of it looks cool. Some of it looks a little bit meh. Um, but it's cheap. Uh, this was only about 50 odd quid. Um, I put a five pound pre-order on it and then uh, as soon as the invoice dropped in the week uh, I cleared the invoice and it arrived yesterday or Monday I think no Tuesday I think it arrived yesterday um, so we're looking at it today Wednesday at the time of the recording anyway enough said um, that is that is it that's all I know it's a red mecha with with stuff and a, and a metal frame and it looks fucking awesome um, so I want it want to build it on the stream that's it there's, there's no real there's nothing else to say really uh, apart from let's check out what's in the box see what it's like see what the, the materials are like and um <laughs> yeah yeah i'll stop flapping my gums I'm, I'm i'm boring myself already all right guys thank you uh for watching the video and i'll see you in the next one That's what it's called. Some pre molded hands in here. Let's see how well they, they turn out. Probably going to be rubbish. I don't like the Bandai ones. But the base looks pretty cool. You know, it's not just a slab. It's got some detail to it, so that's nice. So the arm is more of a hot orange than a red, so that's a misleading. These parts don't look too bad though, nice and sharp, which is nice. They're, it's not like a gummy um, translucent, it's more in line with the, the, the more more firmer stuff that Bandai uses, so that's, that's going to be nice, it's going to help. Also comes with gold variants. So like many of the kits that come out of China, you do get optional color schemes so that's that's really nice that they've given you the option now it would have been nice if this was clear plastic that way you could have painted it whatever color you wanted to 
but for 56 quid um, or whatever, I can't remember how much I paid for it, but it wasn't in the heavy end of, of 50 quid, so um, I'm not going to grumble too much. It's cheaper than a master grade or some master grades or in line with some master grades because a lot of them are in the 50 quid range. Some nice grey parts here. Some decent details. Uh, okay, so this is like um, a painted part. So it's got a tan um, one side and it's gold the other. So I don't know how that will fend. It's not undergated either. Well, there is parts that look like they're trying to be undergated, but um, I think what they do is these will be popping into a piece, so all the sides and the back aren't going to show. This is just all face-forward gold paint, so that's probably not going to be too much of a problem. But yeah, I was expecting this to be red. Um, it's not. It's a hot orange. Um, so all the box art suggests that it's kind of red. Um, but it doesn't matter um, if like a hot orange isn't your thing. You might. You can always paint it. Uh, but hot orange and black and some gold accents possibly. I'll see what the the teal translucent parts look like uh, during the build process and see how I feel about it. In fact, I'm I might even do half and half. Put the translucents where I think it's appropriate and the gold parts where I think it's appropriate. You've got, you got the best of both worlds. And then we have the uh, metal inner frame, which is stapled. Uh, so it's well packaged um, and the backs of the knees have been protected by this so they've, they've taken every action to ensure that this reaches you um, in the state that it's intended let's see if I can open it Yeah, so even with these uh, plastic uh, casings here, this clam, uh, having these parts on there is going to ensure that these don't break. So they, they've done, they've done good. So that's you know credit where it's due when it comes to packaging. I'd rather companies do this than not. Oh, it's actually really heavy. It's heavier than I, I think the ruling, if, as from what I remember. Does it have a hip twist? Okay, the the, the actual bice, uh, the, the twist is in the thighs and not the um the waist. It's quite quite creaky. Uh, that creak will go over time. <laughs> uh, but it is ABS and ABS and metal. Don't know what metal it is. It might be some form of cast because uh, I'm seeing mold lines. So it is a cast metal. I don't know how strong that metal is going to be, um, but it's it's certainly going to be better with because you've got all these points of contact on here. Moving the inner frame is going to be better once you've got all the armor on there, so you can transfer stress evenly. Um, moving stuff about on on a naked frame, you you can possibly break it if you uh, put stress where it's not not recommended. Um, but you know it is it's got some loose parts here. Um, but there are uh, but these are on pins and that's on pins, so um, possibly might be able to take this back part off, take this armature out put material onto these pegs and stiffen that up um, because it pivots there and there and it pivots there and there 
but there's two screws here which obviously sandwich the, the front and the back uh, of the torso plate so you should be able to take this out add a bit of material um, to these pegs um, and stop them from from being so loose however um, once this is all on this movie might just be a consequence of all the armor and all the other bits and pieces which will stiffen that up anyway we'll have to wait and see so can't really uh, knock it down um, when it's in this state however some some parts are relatively loose because they are just on pins so I'm hoping once you've got other things attached to the frame and then the body and the torso, this is just a, to allow movement rather than it being a structural um, structural thing because there's no way um, that's gonna this hinge is gonna like tilt forward to sort of give you um, a thrusted like C pose on the chest and and be able to hold all the backpack because it will just slap it straight back down again. So the fact that that moves forward. There might be some moving parts on here Ooh. that then slide in and lock that forward later on in the build. So, you know, at first glance, it's a nice, nice inner frame, um, metal and ABS. And it's different to some of the others that I've seen, so it's not like they use the same inner frame. And like I said, you're getting, you know, 50 quid's worth of kit. And it comes with like um, a high res sort of like metal in a frame and all the all the parts all the parts of base. And we're gonna look at the rest of it. I'm hoping there's water slides in here as well. Oh, and there's this bit as well, which I'm assuming is to do with the backpack once the backpack's on. Uh, which again. Um, is ABS and metal and it does separate for some reason I don't know why it does that um, but it's just been snipped off the sprue and put together so possibly could do with cleaning up some of these nubs with a glass file or grits or whatever you're going to paint it uh, but certainly you know it is what it is it does it is pride bump ladies and gentlemen so your eyes, your preference, they've got you covered. As well as some water slides. And I don't know what that means, whether that's its name. Uh, because nowhere have I seen its full name full name anywhere. So I think it's a Yan Mi Shuan uh Shushwiti. I think that's its full official name. Because online, I think there's a placeholder name. It's called like Fission Commander Soul Bacon Sandwich. It's a really, really strange name online. Um, but on the box, it says Yanmi. So I'm assuming, uh, like the ruling, this is the Yanmi. So that's that's his name. So that's kind of what I'm going to call it. I'm going to stop talking now. So it is... That looks like a straight build with some panel lining and the water slides put on with the gold effect parts. None of the trans oh, the translucent parts are here. Okay, so they've done a mixture of both kind of what I want to do. So it's kind of cool with the backpack separate on the action stand. Uh, the manual is reminiscent of the ruling as well. It's nice and glossy, simple to understand. There's hardly any text, so just using arrows to sort of put it together. Kind of like how you see a resin conversion. Um, it doesn't tell you like one, two, and three um in areas he just says right that goes there that goes there so it, there is going to be some room for interpretation in terms of how you put these parts together you sort of figure it out as you go um because with bandai kits obviously there are steps like one two and three four etc um but yeah it looks relatively simple to to build it won't take long to build up and that's another thing i like about these kits is there's very few parts uh, involved where in making something look really complex and interesting to look at
So it looks like you can um, have the mecha separate and have all the weapons. Ah, so that's what this thing is. Uh, this is for the action base and you store the weapons on it using this, this bracket. Uh, and the, the part supplied to sort of put all the weapons together and turn it into some sort of fighter. Um, which would be kind of cool to have the this next to the actual mech itself. <clears throat> or have the mecha on the action display stand with this all around it or on its back and just looking absolutely insane. We'll have to wait and see and how it holds up. But at least there's an action display stand to put it on. I don't think the ruling did. I can't remember if the ruling had a, um, an action display stand or not. I think it did. I just... Don't, yes, it did. It did. It come with a big, massive, chunky thing, and I just stand it on it um, with a base plate that says the ruling. Come with a bit of artwork that goes on the base. Um, I just don't use the armature. I just stood it on it. So, yeah, that's cool. It's got a similar sort of vibe to the ruling. I keep referencing the ruling. Um, if you're interested in knowing what I'm talking about, just just Google um, the ruling by In Era, and you'll know what I'm on about. It came out a couple of years ago. And there we are. That's the Yanmi unboxed, talked about. Um, yeah, it's going to be an interesting build. Like I said, a lot of these kits that are coming out of China are becoming homogenous. So you might get bored in the end of looking at the same sort of designs. I'm not at that point yet. But certainly, um, it is a good offering from China for cheap. Like, say you're you know in between Bandai builds or a Koto build, and you want to try something new, something different. Take yeah, take a look at this guy. Um, it should be hitting the stores like now, and you know, because I think I got this relatively quick. Because other people are still waiting on theirs, so I was I was pretty lucky to get my pre-order fulfilled pretty quickly. Um, so. Yeah, go for it. Get yourself one. Treat yourself. Anyway, I'm going to bugger off now. Uh, I'm going to stream in a little bit. Uh, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. I really, really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for all the follows and support. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys. Yanmi. Yanmi. <laughs> I've really got to stop doing these. Because I have $30,000 in credit card debt. When they call, I tell them I can't pay it back yet. Credit card.